Understanding Stateless Functions, a guide for English language learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into an exciting topic that might sound complex at first, but is actually quite straightforward once you get the hang of it. We're talking about stateless functions. Whether you're a budding programmer or just curious about tech terms, this video is for you. So, let's unravel the mystery together and make learning fun and easy. Before we delve into stateless functions, it's essential to understand what functions are in the world of programming. Think of a function as a recipe. Just like a recipe tells you the steps to make a dish, a function tells the computer a series of steps to perform a specific task. Functions can take in ingredients, known as parameters, and after following the steps, the code inside the function. They give us a result, which is like our final dish. Now, let's talk about state. In programming, the state refers to the memory of an application at a certain point in time. It's like the memory of a person. It holds information about what has happened up to now. For example, if you're playing a video game, the game's state includes your current score, the level you're on, and any items you've collected. Moving on to the heart of our topic, stateless functions. A stateless function is like a calculator that doesn't remember your previous calculations. Each time you use it, it starts fresh, without any memory of what was done before. In technical terms, a stateless function does not keep track of changes outside its scope. It doesn't store any data from one execution to the next. This means if you give it the same inputs, or parameters, it will always return the same output, regardless of how many times you run it. You might wonder, why do we care about stateless functions? Well, they are incredibly useful in many programming scenarios, especially in web development. Stateless functions are predictable, easy to test, and efficient. Since they don't depend on or alter any external state, you can be confident that they'll behave the same way every time they're used. This makes them perfect for tasks that require consistency and reliability. We hope this video has shed some light on the concept of stateless functions and made it more approachable. Remember, understanding programming concepts like this can open up a whole new world of technology and innovation. Keep learning, stay curious, and don't be afraid to dive deeper into topics that interest you. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video. This breakdown should help you create an informative and engaging video that explains stateless functions in a way that's accessible to English language learners.